<laughs> what up, Web? Welcome back to Spider Closet Land. Today, we're going to talk about this guy. And when I say guy, check out that front leg. That is a tibial hook. This is my boy. This is my mature male. This is my Gromostola polecrypes. My Gromostola polecrypes, also known as the Chaco Golden Knee. Guess where he gets that name? Nope, wrong, because he has golden knees. I got this guy as a sling. A sling is just short for spiderling or baby spider. Uh, he was the size of my thumbnail and he ate like crazy. I'm actually gonna try to feed him right now, but the problem is, man, mature males, they don't love to eat that much. They really, once they mature, they're not eating. Come on, little guy. Just give me something. Don't disappoint. Come on. Come on, Spidey, Spidey, Spidey. Uh, he has no interest in this right now, guys. I didn't want to disappoint you. Let's get him back in view a little bit, and let's talk about this mature male. All right, so this is a terrestrial species, which means he's going to live on the ground. He's going to spend his time down there, not up in the trees, not up high. I do consider it a display species because this guy is always out, man. He is great to show off to my friends. Look at him right now. He's just chilling on his skull, having a good time. Let me take this video of him. As a sling though, he will not be out, man. He's gonna burrow. You can see underneath his skull, he has a burrow uh, there right now. Plus the soil above that skull is a little bit deeper um, so that he can dig down, man. Uh, but he doesn't anymore. He is just out. This guy is right around that seven inch mark. I read online that the females can actually get up to eight, even eight and a half inches. I've never actually seen it, but I read it. So it has to be true. The way that you're going to measure a tarantula is from the front leg on one side to the back leg on the opposite side. So you're going to go diagonal across your tarantula to get its actual size. Fun fact, this guy is climbing this glass right now. He is all over his home right now because he is a mature male. And a mature male has one thing on his mind. He wants to mate. He needs to find a lady. He wants to make some babies. So he's out wandering looking for a mate. The crazy thing is those little tiny hooks that we saw earlier, those are actually a defense fence because when he mates with the female he uses those hooks to hold back the female's fangs in hopes to stop him from getting eaten he doesn't want that he doesn't want to be dinner he doesn't want to be a meal he just wants a little love and he wants to make some babies but if the male is lucky enough to not become a meal unfortunately males do not live as long as a female a male is only going to live five six seven years where a female can live 20 years uh, it's not really fair. It is just life. And unfortunately for him, I have no plans on mating him. There will be no loving in his future, but I will have him in his awesome home on display for all of my friends to see. I love this guy. I would recommend this species. This is my favorite tarantula I have, but also first spider I raised from a sling. Thanks for watching Spider Closet Land.